Brian here from quantlabs.net. Um, just wanted to show people some important things uh, that I've been playing with with R inside, uh, where you have uh, C++ uh, programs basically calling R from within the C++ using R, CPP, and R inside. I've done videos on that, so look them up on the YouTube channel of quantlabs.net, or quantlabs, sorry. Um, so this is, um, the standard R inside uh, package when you download it. If you come under examples and standard, I've created uh, two new files. Um, basically, uh, well actually four new files. Uh, basically you'll have two new R files that I'm gonna be testing, as well as I have um, two uh, other C++ files. One's called RCP, uh, sorry, R inside underscore test CPP as well as um, another one testing um, where is it I know it's somewhere around here the PA there we go yeah so there's this one as well this R inside test PA so uh, right now if, if you're not familiar what you're looking at you're looking at the Ubuntu uh, Linux desktop version and a virtual machine in my virtual box um, and uh, that's what this is. Uh, so I've got open two sessions, one for NetBeans, which is my IDE for C++, and RStudio for my R. So I'm gonna look at these two files, uh, the two R script files. Uh, the, this is the source where you can download this one right here, but I have modified the uh, R script. What you'll notice is um, the, this is a normal, um, set of functions that do get called from the original script, but all I did was I just I put them in a function uh, called fun, uh, fun main uh, with a capital M, okay? So that is the PA demo. And what it does is essentially just, it's using two R packages uh, that are called from within the script, quant mod and uh, performance analytics. Uh, so I don't have to have my C++ call these uh, um, these R packages there. They're within the script. Uh, so it just download some uh, symbols, the GSPC, it does some usual uh, manipulation, trying to get the returns of, of the state range. And it's gonna generate basically two plots. Uh, the first one's gonna be called PA1PNG, uh, and another one called uh, PA, uh, P, PA.PNG. So if I go under the files, okay, you won't find those, those plots anywhere, because this is where they'll get generated within this folder, um, and uh, they don't exist. Um, so that's what's gonna happen is, is that they're gonna create two plots. Uh, and that's, that's the first uh, R script, uh, the, or sorry, it's actually the second R script I'm gonna run, the PA demo R. And then the second, the first R script I'm gonna run is uh, same concept, uh, obviously different, same thing. If you want the source code, just go here. A um, Bunch of other functions. Um, and what I've done was, again, same thing. I've created a new function for all the main calls and basically they're in its own uh, function called main fun main function uh, all it needs is just requiring the quant mod package download some symbols this iwm vxcn uh, binds creates a new uh, matrix called closes um, and that's what's grabbing is the closing price of each of these symbols and it just basically does very simple plot um, that's it. <laughs> uh, and that's all I really want to test from with uh, these, these, function, these functions get called from within a C++ uh, program. So let me show you the code for the uh, NetBeans. Okay, so this is the uh, standard uh, folder from the examples. As I said, there's the two new uh, R scripts I just showed you within the R Studio. Uh, and let's, I'm going to show you the two um, uh, C++ programs, very simple stuff. The first one's called R inside test. Okay, it's a C++ program, all self-contained. Uh, let me just see. Oh. Okay, so it's loading it. I don't know what the delay is for, but uh, 
Here we go. Okay. So essentially what we're doing is we're just doing the standard R inside call, setting it up, all initializing. But here's the difference. I really don't need this this call right here, this quant mod. Um, remember I um, built that into the R script, so it's kind of like duplicate code really. But uh, it's there, it doesn't really matter. But this is where is the important thing. This TXT uh, instantiation, um, all it's doing is it's, it's calling, and remember this is a source call, sorry, an R call from within the C++. So I'm, I'm running a source function or command or whatever you want to call it, and it's going to source that uh, uh, script file, the uh, hedge ratio uh, that I just showed you, right? Or the hedge ratio demo. So that's what it's going to source. And let me just show you, it's going to call the main function function. Okay, so let me just show you that. So it's going to call this guy. So that's why I've created these, these separate uh, functions so that the R the C++ can call those R functions from within the C++ and that's all it's going to do okay so that's R inside underscore test CPP so that's the first C++ uh, file now there's a second one which let me just uh, load that puppy up uh, which is again we're, we're going to be calling the performance analytics a very powerful um, R function um, so let me just show you the source code for that guy, uh, R inside uh, PA, this guy right here. Okay, so here's the source code, same concept. Um, again, this really isn't needed, this quant mod, um, but it's the same idea. It's going to call the PA demo, which is really, I showed you that, I just showed you that uh, R script, P, it's going to call this PA demo, I just showed you. And remember, it's going to call now the fun main main function within that script. So let me just show you the PA demo. Uh, here's the PA demo. So it's going to call this function fun fun main. Okay. So that's it. Very simple stuff. And remember, um, uh, what's going to happen is uh, let me go back to my R Studio. Um, there's there's a set of plots that I want you to be on the lookout for. Uh, there's this plot, uh, hedge ratio demo. Uh, let me go to my folder, the working directory folder. Uh, so there's, there is no hedge fund, uh, oh, uh, there's no hedge fund plot. The PNG does not exist. Um, and let me go to the other uh, performance analytics uh, script. This is the other one. Um, and basically we've got two scripts here uh, or two uh, PNGs are going to get created PA1 PNG this one right here and another one PA2.png and guess what if I go in the folder those uh, plot uh, PNG files do not exist so what does that mean we're going to run these guys okay let's do our first one the R inside test which is going to call the um, hedge fund ratio demo and it's that R script that's going to get called from the C++ is going to create again this uh, it's going to create this PNG file called head ratio demo now remember it doesn't exist so I don't need to build it um, I'm just going to run it uh, the run bin executable exists already within this uh, project within the uh, it's right here so let me just run that guy okay so off it goes takes a couple seconds so it's downloading the um, function it takes two seconds to run so what does that mean we should see our hedge ratio demo PNG plot there it is um, so that's really cool um, you got C++ calling the R script and the R script from within the C++ program it creates this plot okay and, and it was pretty pretty fast um, in a virtualized environment. Uh, so let me just get rid of that. Move to trash. Now we're going to run our second, uh, our second, uh, our, our our C++ program. So we've got this R inside test underscore PA performance analytics. You know what does that do? It's going to call that uh, R script. This guy uh, right here, PA demo. Let me just show you that, just to show you no smoke and mirrors here. Um, so it's going to call this PA demo dot R script <clears throat> and it's going to create uh, at some point it's going to create the two PNG files PA1 and PA2 
to PNG. So let me go back to my working directory. There are no PA PNG files. Okay? So let's go ahead and run that C++ program. And let me show you how exciting this is. This is again within NetBeans. And we are going to run our bin executable. Let's get right here. So off she goes. Uh, run, run. Takes four seconds to run. So we've got two plots. There you go. Four, oh, well, three seconds. No big deal. Um, so let's go into our uh, working directory. Yes, we got PA1, PNG, and PA2 PNG. Okay, let's take a look. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Uh, and then our other one. Boom, 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 boom. Now, this is the GSPC. Um, just for kicks, let's do something.